I'm Matthew Thorne. Hi, I'm Derek Lynch. And uh, we're the directors of Marunka Chalachunu, which is in uh, competition in Berlin Alley Shorts. Wow. Well, Pen, Buddha. You're a calling the Gogari. Mother Yangata, in the Australian, and you're a PC Rajota. You're a any Juno, or a young at the Australian, Kangana Pawankanda, or a Naja in the Winkita. Nana the Nana Pamanta, Nana Pacolta, Hereda Jamalaba, sixty thousand years old. Nana. Anna, where did you come The oldest living culture in the world. Kakwari nyanga, nyanga the nyura ngana na nyakole nta. Kola nyura wanka ngi yiri ringo. Kakwari nyura ngana na nyakole nta. Kola ngura manda nyanga ja. Ngana ba chukur ba jara. Ono ngana na kanyi ne. Ono ngana na mukur ngi ngi Layu go here to the Jurango, Layu Lanka Jamai go to Gorba, here to the moon, Nura Lagoro, Nanaja Pika and Yanaja, Layu Nura and Vitamin, Nana Lachum, one Kunjago, Mununindi in Kunjago, Munai Gini Tri Clintana, and Layu to Gorba. Hello and welcome to the 37th Teddy Award. My name is Jan Felix Wutig and today I'm here with directors Matthew Thorne and Derek Lynch to talk about their film Marunka Chalachunu. Welcome guys. Hey. <laughs> great, great to have you here. Hi. <laughs> Pleasure. Uh, and thank you so much for the film. I found it to be a very poetic and very moving piece of art and it also offered me this, this insight into Anango culture, which I, I, I really loved. Um, it is about, um, well, Derek's, well, that, that's my <laughs> interpretation at least, Derek's journey back home, basically, away from the city, back home, and, and sort of to yourself as well. Um, yeah. Maybe you guys could tell me a little bit about how the idea for the film came to pass. Go for it. Idea. Um, well, the idea came when I was actually talking to Matthew. Mm -hmm. um, we, I, well, he was living in Berlin at the time, and um, we chatted over Facebook, and um, I ran him up. One night, and then we started having conversations, and he um, asked me if he, um, if he could um, dot, po dot point some some of the stuff that I was saying, and then I was like, yeah, and then one thing after another, and Matthew started writing and um, sent me the draft, and I read it, and yeah. And then we were adding some stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, you want to say something? You should tell them the story about how we met. The first time. <laughs> you, tell, you tell them. <laughs> no, go so ahead. There's, there's a great. There's a great festival yeah, in Adelaide. Uh, it's been running for many years. It's like the Adelaide Fringe Festival. There's lots of fringe festivals all over the world, and um, and I happened to be back home at this time, and I was there, and I was kind of dancing on the dance floor there and then like Derek kind of came over to me and was like hi and I think probably maybe kind of sweet on me is it fair to say <laughs> <laughs> no, <but. laughs> and then we we started talking and of course we were in this kind of I don't know it's like an artist bar right and then uh I said you know what are you doing he said I'm an actor and I'm a writer and a performer and I said oh, I'm a film director and then that was kind of the beginning of our our friendship and then I guess, you know, I'd always felt that I wanted to understand more about Anangu culture, about, you know, First Nations culture in Australia. I mean, I'm, I'm yeah. born here, but it's not my culture. Yeah. Um, and I guess uh, making this work with Derek was also a part of that for me, learning how to belong to the country that I was born to. Yeah. Mm. 
So that's kind of also how the uh, where the idea for the for the first kind of scene for the dance group scene kind of came from, right? Then, more or less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, well, a as I said, w one of the the great things I found about the film is that it introduces you to to all these uh, Anangu uh, customs, you know, like like Chukurpa. Um, maybe Derek, you could elaborate on that on that concept a little bit because I think some people are not familiar with it, and it it, it takes quite um, quite a part in in the film as well. The Chukurpa's like storytelling, um, country, um, you know, that's always been part of our culture mm. for sixty plus thousand years you yeah. know and i guess for me you know it is something that i've you know grown up with and you know always been passionate about um you know teaching also i think the world that i come from you know growing up at bush mm. you know um growing up out in the desert and um it's yeah like i just i think i can yeah i love it mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and um it's just yeah it's, it's it comes natural yeah for me you know mm. my culture and my performance and all of that stuff yeah. and storytelling yeah well it's um I found that that one of the the key aspects of the film is how Anangu culture embraces identity or embraces your own true self, yep. other than mm -hmm. you know, other than what happens in the beginning, all the 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 offenses that are dealt against you in nightclub. Um, maybe you can talk a little bit about um, both of you guys, uh, or how how you wanted to show this kind of connection between Anangu culture and identity and specifically queer identity in that sense? I mean, uh, certainly I just wanted to make a film that I felt um, represented Derek as best as it could, mm. you know, and Derek's a queer man. So I think that's part of that story. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, certainly I feel that you know, the, these kind of stories are obviously very important. And I think they're important, you know, I mean, not just because of that, their diversity, but also I think because of the number of people who in this background probably wouldn't have the opportunity to share a story like that, mm -hmm. especially in Derek. I mean, Derek and I talked a lot about in the making of the film, the idea that, you know, Derek actually came from three worlds. You know, we talked a lot about two worlds, right? The idea of the black fellow world and the white fellow world. And then we also realized there was probably a third world, which was a queer world. Yeah. Um, and I think maybe for me, at least, that wasn't that apparent at the beginning. You know, that, that, that to me, I mean, I've grown up in that community my whole life, more or less. My family was in the arts. Mm -hmm. So it's never been something that's particularly strange to me as an individual. Right? Yeah. Um, but then as we made this more and more, it became maybe more of a theme, more of a, a part of it, whereas I always just saw it as my friend Derek. Yeah. yeah. For me, it was, you know, because we don't talk about queer stuff in, 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 our, in our culture, in our community. And, you know, for me, you know, I think going back to the community and telling the story, I think, you know, living in the city and having a lot of friends you know that are from the rainbow community yeah. um it's very different back home so it's you know it's a storytelling with being honest mm. about yourself mm. you know and and not only that you know it's also sharing my culture you know and like like Matt, you said, these three worlds that I live in, and um, you know, it's something that I really wanted to share for a very long time, and um, and I was afraid to share it. Yeah. And now it's you know going to be all out there. Yeah. And it's fine. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, and I, I, I really kind of felt that, that it was sort of, you know, about about you coming, sort of telling your story and, and sort of sharing that that piece of you, but also that, that kind of different aspects of, of, of the worlds you live in. I mean, there's queer identity, there's the customs, there's going back home, there's also... Um, a bit of you know childhood trauma in a sense you know because we have these oh, yeah. these um these scenes i don't i don't know do you do you want to touch on that is is that how you uh, how did you approach that that subject how did you want to tell these, these oh stories? um i was always open about my trauma hmm. like i think you know with my mental health with all my past traumas i've always been very open about it you know i i talk about talk about my my and my past very openly mm -hmm. and I share it because I think it's it's healthy mm -hmm. to let it out yeah. instead of keeping it all here and here and here, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and I, I wanted to tell these stories because a lot of the kids, you know, back home, not only from my community, but there's all these other different communities and all these other Bible groups and, you know, growing up in 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 the town of Alice Springs, which is one of the cities in the middle of Australia. Mm -hmm. And you see a lot of the kids that, you know, I look back now, you know, I I look, I look, ref, look at them as my reflections, you know, mm -hmm. and telling the story, you know, um, and sharing my story mm. through film will one day, you know, inspire them and, um, you know, to to seek help if they are feeling lonely or, you know, feeling a bit depressed, um, mm. you know, going through um, harming themselves, mm. you know. Um, so this is a, you know, a really big step forward for a lot of, um, for a lot of animal young people to yeah. relate to it's yeah. not only about being a queer man but it also talks about language it also talks about educating people and you know and walking with pride mm. and being confident of being who you are yeah yeah i th think you really succeeded in that um specifically i i thought uh in 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 how you integrated performances into the film i thought one mm. of the one of the many beautiful scenes there was um you kind of oh can you still see me <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah oh, all right so just my 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 display just ca went kind of fuzzy but anyway um one of the 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 most beautiful scenes was kind of you dancing in in the headlights of the car at <laughs> night and and you know your your fellows kind of kind of watching and and your friends watching and that that was incredible to me. Um, could you maybe talk a little bit about how it felt to shoot that scene to to bring that about? <laughs> you were nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't gonna do it. <laughs> I mean, we talked so much about it, you know, and it was something that I think. Yeah. Go back to the very first idea. Like, what were you thinking? Because I had no. Like my vision, mm, mm, like mm, mm. I was like, you want me to wear a bow dress mm, mm, in this mm, heat mm, during mm, the day, mm, mm, and I wanted. I thought we were going to go down to the river mm -hmm. and shoot it there and mm -hmm. away from the community. And Matthew just had this completely different idea of like, let's do it here. And <laughs> as we were camping and you know setting up. As we were staying out in the mm. um, campsite, he was actually looking at all of the beautiful sunsets, mm. and I did not understand like why are you mm. timing, you know, for this film, like mm. for the shoot. <laughs> and so I was like, but in my head, I was like, come on, let's get the let's get the dress and let's go down and <laughs> let's shoot this part, you know, during the day. Yeah. But, it just all happened, and I was very nervous because I, you know, didn't, mm. I guess, going back to, you know, being open about my sexuality, you know, and I think a lot of people knew, mm. obviously, mm. and 
but me showing myself in a gold dress mm-hmm. when performing, like I felt very, very uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. But they loved it, eh? Yeah, and they loved it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Now your turn. <laughs> <laughs> your turn. Now. I mean, I think you know the 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 big thing for me was just felt like film wanted to touch something to do with that in my land, you know, that place. And I don't know why. Probably I felt something very spiritual just myself about that. And Derek would tell me stories about it. Obviously, I don't understand it, you know, fully. But Derek would talk about how important it was to him growing up, how important it was to community, to to teaching for Chukurpa, to carrying these stories. Yeah. And then we ended up camping there, you know, when we first went up to film in 2019, more or less right where that is. And then that kind of felt special. And then when we came back again in 2022 and filmed again, then there was like a church there. Mm-hmm. And this other like church sequence was happening around the same land. Yeah, and they they oh. blessed it, and it was like you weren't like was, you it know, was like, out in the open, and you weren't allowed to smoke. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, but we were outside. <laughs> like you, you couldn't have a cigarette. Yeah. And my mum was like, "You have to go back out to the yeah. gate over there." Mm. And they had like the tire, mm. the the car tire. Mm. So they dug a hole to make this. Um, the boundary of the church. Mm. Oh. So the tire was half of the tire was sticking out yeah. off, off out of the ground. And the other one was the other half was buried. Mm. So they made this boundary for this church with the mm. tires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around, and they painted all in white. And then there was like a little gate. Mm. And like you can walk through it. Yeah. Like and then my mum was like, you have to go outside and have a snow. And I was like, but I am outside. <laughs> And I mean, and I think it was just this thing where that that land had become so, and that story had become so like in touch with whatever that film was going to be. Yeah, mm. and also, I didn't want to ask because during pandemic they all went mm. into this very, very spiritual space. Mm. You know, um, this, I guess, God loving. Christ, like full on Christian. Mm-hmm. Since the last time we shot the dre- gold dress sequence, yeah. it became, like you said, it became a, a church. And mm-hmm. So, yeah, it kind of felt weird. And I did not <laughs> wanted to ask the community members yeah. to pull it down. So I, I let the white fellas do it. I was like, can you <laughs> tell the white fellas? We want, I want to do the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah um and then they took it down and and the second time around mm. we had the whole community and i was like i was really super super nervous then yeah yeah but, you know it's a performance so yeah. i gave it gave my 100 percent performance but you know my favorite memory of that is when we were filming and your mum and and annie audrey who's one of the elders of community. We're sitting right next to each other and I was also very nervous, you know, <laughs> nervous about how how it might be received by those two senior women in your life. Yeah. And they were the ones who loved it the most, you know. <laughs> and when we went just back up just a few weeks ago for the sorry business, you know, people would talk about it and they talked about it like with great joy. So I think oh, you wow. should be very proud. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think so too. And it, that really transports incredibly beautifully in the film. You know, you have the smiling faces and it's it's such a moment of, of joy and of celebrating yourself in that moment. At least that, that's how I felt about it. Um, you also have those kind of um, spiritual uh scenes in the film where it's just kind of the, the camera moving forward and you have music and it it feels as if like sort of as if you kept trying to capture something mythical or, or mystical actually about about uh anangu culture um 
Do you know what I mean? Like if you're when you're when you're walking sort of along the river and it, it sort of it, it makes you kind of. I mean, I can say I can say this hmm? as a white fellow. When you go out to country, you are absolutely overwhelmed by the power of that place. Yeah. Right. The magic is very very real. You know, and I was a kind of a quiet and maybe slightly ashamed spiritual person before I had th this experience making this film. And this film made me a very spiritual individual, you know, that relationship with land and how that land works on us and carries story is very powerful. Yeah. And I guess some of what we tried to do in the film was convey that experience or that feeling. What do you think? Mm. Sorry, I was like in, in, in the moment. <laughs> I was like going where Matthew was going in my mind. I was like, wow, you are very spiritual. <laughs> you took me there. <laughs> well, you guys took me there with your film. Um, I want to thank you very much, Derek and Matthew, to, to you. that you took the time and that you made this beautiful film. Great. Thank you so much, guys. Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. <laughs> All right. Bye. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you so much. Right. Thanks, and guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye.